Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to the channel and in today's video, we'll be designing this really simple liquid loader in Figma. So yeah, let's get started. So we're in Figma right now and the first thing that you need as usual is an artboard. Now you're free to pick any artboard of your choice. I'm gonna pick a desktop artboard. So I'll hit A on my keyboard and I'm gonna pick a MacBook Pro 14 inch artboard. Uh, I wanna build a dark theme app. So I'm just gonna add a black fill to it. And that's about it. The next thing that you need is to figure out what size of the loader that you want here. And I think I typically want like a 500 by 500 uh, size loader. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another frame. Okay, so I'll again hit A on my keyboard and I'll drag a frame. Now the next thing that you need is to build waves. So what we need to do is we need to create these waves and to create these waves, there are multiple options. First, you can go to the community tab on Figma uh, and you can also access it from here in the plugin option and you can uh, get this plugin called get waves and it'll create a wave for you. Like it'll create automated uh, automatic waves for you and it'll be like really crisp, crisp and clean. But if you want to do the old way that I wanted to do, like the good old way is to create by yourself. So you can use the pen tool and create it. So here's a simple trick. How can you build it like really quickly? So just build simple triangles actually. Okay. So just build triangles. So just create triangles of different heights. And what I've done, if you see here, it's all automatically rounding off. So to get this simple automatic effect, what you need to do is just select the overall shape and just add a rounded corner to it, something like 200, which is a really high number. So what happens is when you again start typing and drawing, right? Again, if I hit P on my keyboard, the pen tool, and I start adding my triangles, it automatically adds the rounded corners at the uh, points, at the different uh, uh, points, the pen points that we have. So that's how it creates the wave, really simple. And what you have to keep in mind is I just make sure that it looks a little random, okay? And since we have already added the rounded corners automatically adding the rounded corners and the one thing that you have to uh, make sure while creating these waves is that you have to make the wave really long uh, like four to five times longer than the width of the uh, frame that we have just created so make sure you do that and i'll just create it after explaining you this but once you have done with your wave what you have to do is you just have to create uh, a fill shape to it so just create a line and just make this shape a closed shape Okay, and this is how you close it and then you add a fill to it. So this is how the waves will look like. Okay, and then you can remove the stroke and this is how the wave will look like. You also have to make sure that the height of this wave uh, is greater than the height of your artboard. So it has to be taller than the height of your frame that you have created here. And it also has to be four to five times longer than the width of the artboard that you're picking here. So that's the only caveat. And once you're done with this, let me just uh, uh, clean this wave a little bit and then let's get back to you. So once you're done with the wave, as I explained, right, uh, this is how the wave will look like. And then you can add a little bit more interesting touches to it. So you can add a gradient fill to it so that this doesn't look this boring. So let's add quickly a gradient fill here. So I'll use a red here and then I'll use a yellow. And yeah, this looks awesome, right? So this is your wave ready here as of now. And as I explained, the longer wave that you make, like the longest wave that you make, the animation will be much smoother and easier because it'll have more frames to work with. So make sure it's really long. That's what I'm emphasizing on. And once you're done with this, what you have to do is you just have to duplicate it again. Just duplicate this entire wave again. And you have to create a slightly darker version of this wave. So what, how can you do that? It's very simple. Just come here into the fill option and just hit this plus. And it automatically adds a, a black overlay on top of it with 20% opacity. So just increase it a little bit so that it looks a little darker. And I think this looks perfectly fine. Just uh, make sure it matches up to your taste. So this has to be just the darker version of your uh, previous wave. And it has to be exactly similar. That's perfectly fine. You can also, if you want, you can just add some different variations to this wave. But it's totally up to you. Even this will work perfectly fine. Okay. Uh, the next thing that you need to do is uh, we have this frame ready. What you have to do is you have to place this one, uh, this first wave onto your frame. And you also have to place the second wave onto your frame. What you have to make sure is that the second wave, the darker wave is behind the first wave. 
Perfect. So what you have done as of now is you have just placed these two waves um, inside your frame and the darker wave is behind the lighter wave. Okay. And if you see what I have done is those two waves are pointing in a different direction. So this light wave is extending in the left and this uh, dark wave is extending in the right. And what you have to do is you have to move it in the opposite directions. So that will create this um, liquid effect. Okay. So once you have done this, the next thing that you need to do is so if you see your uh, artboard is here, let me just open clip content. It's like this. And what you have to do is now you have to adjust this wave. So that just looks like that is filling the entire shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move it a little down so that only a tiny bit, tiny portion of it is visible. Something like this. And I'll select the other wave as well, the darker wave. Sorry. And I'll also move it a bit down so that only a tiny bit portion is visible. Now, if you want, you can just play around with the exact location, but it's totally fine wherever you want to place it. Something like this should also work. Okay. So our wave is ready. If I just show you how this looks like, this looks like this is how it looks like. And the waves are extremely at the bottom. And what you have to do is you have to move the wave. So this gives us this nice effect of filling up. So let's on the clip content. And one more thing, if you remember in a promo video, this uh, loader was circular. So what you have to do is just come here and increase the rounded corners. So something like 300, 300, 400, it become perfectly square. Okay. And this is how it looks like. And we'll remove the fill in a bit, but since we don't want to fill here, but this is how it looks like. And now let's create the second variant of this. Okay. And in the second variant, what you have to do is you have to fill the entire loader. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move it extremely right so what i'm doing is i'm just moving the i'll just quickly show you actually i'm just moving both of them in the opposite direction and into the extreme left and right and then i'll also move it up so if i just compare with this one i have moved from here till here and the other one also i'll do the same thing i'll just move it up and i'll move it in the extreme right so what will happen is it will give dual effect. One is that it's moving in both directions. So they're crisscrossing each other and they're also uh, sort of, what do you say, moving up. So it will also give this filling effect. Okay. So this is how it will look like. Okay. And this is how the first one just lets on the clip content. So what will happen is from here to here, it will just completely fill the entire shape. And that's about it guys. Um, let me just quickly recap what I have done. So in this starting, the waves are extremely down uh, on this frame and only a bit of this portion is visible. And one of the waves is extending to the left. The other one is extending to the right. And in the second frame, what is happening? The left wave is moving in the right direction. So for example, this light wave is moving in the right direction and this dark wave is moving in the left direction. So they're just crisscrossing each other and they're also moving up in this entire frame. So just gives an effect of filling up. So these are the two frames uh, done. And the next thing that you need to do is just select these two and remove the fill that you have here. So I'll just remove the background fill of these layers so that just this looks transparent. And this is how it looks like. And the next thing that you need to do is just select both of them and you have to create component set. So just create a component set and you can call it loader. That's perfectly fine. And what you have to do is just select this one and now go to your prototyping tab. And now you have to create a prototype. So just quickly link it to the second artboard and instead of on click do after delay because you want this to happen automatically and give it like one millisecond immediately you want to change it instead of instant give smart animate and instead of ease out you have to give linear because you want this motion to happen evenly and you can play with the time here let's work out something like 5000 because I want it to be really slow. One more thing that we need to do, we need to link it back as well so that it can restart automatically. So I'll quickly link it back. And instead of on click again, we need after delay. And one millisecond, uh, we don't want smart animate now because we don't want the reverse motion happening. So we want instant so that after the loading is finished, it automatically goes to this state. And yeah, this looks fine. So our loader component is ready. The next thing that you need to do is you have to come here in your assets tab. And in the final one that you'll see, you'll see your uh, loader component here. You can just drag it in the center. And as I said, since it's a component now, you can also um, 
scale it up and down and lock perfectly retain its shape so this is how it looks like and the next thing that you need to do is um, so i've also created these um, loading experience this text actually so this text has a slight animation to it i'm not explaining it i'll link the file below you can check it out it's a really simple animation where this just dots animate so this looks like a loading screen so we have our loader component that we have already created and we have our text here so now let's see how this entire thing looks like so this is how it looks like and if you see it's working out fine but the motion is a little bit faster tad little faster so what we can do is we can just slow it down so it looks a little better so what we have to do is you have to come here on our component go to our prototyping tab and the forward linking one that we had is select this one and if you see we have given 5000 millisecond but i think this is still too fast so what we can do is we can give 8000 and let's see how it looks like let's reload And this looks absolutely nice. If you see this uh, waves are actually moving crisscross. So this gives a notion of things filling up and it's also moving up. So it's filling the entire circle and gives a really nice liquid effect. So overall combined with this entire thing, it looks really nice. Now you can use this loader in your app. You can use this on your website and this gives a really nice effect. You can also customize this loader into something like a glass icon and this looks like a glass filling up so you can do a lot of things uh, with this sort of uh, idea the animation idea and yeah i think that's it for today's video let me know what you want to see next in the video and i'll see you in my next video take care bye bye